Next, I want to show you uh, some simple ways to add text to your report. Uh, let's say I wanted the report name or the company name on the top of the page, or maybe the word copyright on the bottom of the page. So a lot of times that's not really going to be in your field explorer. Uh, really, it's just going to be a piece of text. If you follow my mouse over here, you're looking for this icon that says insert text object or you can also find that under the insert menu as we can see so I'm just going to pick on uh, insert text object you're going to move your mouse to where you want that to appear on your report so let's say I want it at the top of each page therefore I'm going to put it into the page header section so I'm just going to click there and in this case uh, this happens to be our expense report I'm just going to type in expense report and then we're just going to click somewhere else and now the text is on our report. So all we really did was the insert text object. You could have as many of those as you wanted to. Once that text is there, we can just drag it and move it across the screen just by doing a drag and drop. Notice when we drag it, these lines come up. So for example, if I wanted to line up with the date column, you can see the lines are expressing that it, it will line up with the date column as we can see. Uh, uh, so we can just move a field by dragging it across the, uh, across the screen. Now um, we can also resize a field. So you're looking for the sizing handles either on the right side or on the left, at the top or at the bottom of the field. Sometimes they even appear in the corner. You can tell you're on a sizing handle because your mouse becomes a double arrow like that. So we can move that in and move it out, make it uh, a different size. Then uh, any, any object on the screen, just about any object, can be formatted. So I'm going to click on that expense report item, and then you can see all of your formatting options. We can uh, change the font and the font size. This is going to bring it to the next font size up. So if it's 10 now, then now it went up to 11. It went to the next font size up. This one's going to bring it to the next font size down. So of course, that'll go to back to uh, 10. Then we have bold italic, underline. If you wanted to turn any of those off, just click on it a second time. So let me turn the italic off. Uh, so you can see it went back. So those are just toggles. You could toggle the, those on or off. Not a problem. Uh, now these are for your text justifications. Now uh, I'm going to uh, make that feel a little bit bigger. So if I pick on center, notice how it centers the text within the, uh, the field or this will make it right justified in the field or this will make it left. Uh, this one is more for larger paragraphs where both the left and the right margin would be justified. Here you have your font color. Lots of colors available. If you want more colors than that, just pick on the word more, of course. Then you get every color in the rainbow. Uh, you have your font color. Uh, this is uh, going to be uh, for your borders. Now, there's going to be other options for your borders, but here, let's say we want a border uh, all, all the way around that field. We can quickly add that, as you can see. Now that that field has a box around it, actually those are borders. So we can click on that field. Uh, now, <clears throat> uh, to hide that field, we can suppress it. Uh, and then we can uh, actually lock that field. There will be other f uh, videos about the locking. These fields only light up when we have a number field. So it's very easy to add our text to our report. We're going to use the text object over here. Let's try another example. Let's say in the bottom of the page, I'd like to have the words copyright. So I'm actually going to move this text over here. I'm just going to pick it up and drag it. Notice these lines come up so that it's going to help you keep things uh, in alignment with other objects. I really like that. I'm going to make this feel a little bit smaller using the sizing handle. Now let's say right over here, I'd like to have the word copyright. So we're going to pick on the text object. And then I'm going to move that right into my report. And uh, you try to approximate where that's going to fit in. So right about there should be fine. I'm going to click in. And now I'm just going to type in copyright 2010. And when I click uh, somewhere else, now the text is in place. All right, so you're going to use your text object quite a bit. You're always going to add text to your report uh, using this icon right over here. So that's really different than a field that comes from the table. A field that comes from the table will be under the field explorer under database fields, as we can see. And then things like the date and time will be under special fields. 
uh, as, as we can see on their special fields for the field explorer. But you would use the text object when you just want a, uh, a specific piece of text, like your, your, your company name or the report name or the word copyright that perhaps is not going to appear under the database fields or under the field explorer. All right, so that's how we can add uh, text and that's how we can manage text in our report.